Now we discuss work done in an isothermal process. First we see isothermal expansion. Consider the cylinder having n number of ideal gaseous molecules contains weightless and frictionless piston this is PV diagram is the volume of gas inside the cylinder marked as V1 when we supply heat from the surrounding to the system the gas expands from V1 to V2 according to first law of thermodynamics delta U is equal to Q plus W in an isothermal process, delta U is equal to 0. Since delta U is equal to Cv dt, dt is 0, so delta U is equal to 0. Substituting this value in this equation, we get Q is equal to minus W. Work is equal to force into distance, in this case pressure into volume. Here volume is the variable 1, so dW is equal to minus PdV. To get W, integrate this value in within the limits. So integration of V1 to V2, PdV. Here I am not considering any signs of work done. For an ideal guess, PV is equal to NRT. So P is equal to NRT divided by V. Substituting this value in this equation, we get W is equal to NRT ln V2 by V1. Here W is negative because um, the delta V value is positive. That is final volume minus initial volume. That is higher volume minus lower volume is positive. So positive into negative is equal to negative. So the work done value will be negative in an isothermal expansion. Substituting this negative value in this equation, we get W is equal to minus NRT ln V2 by V1. So this is the work done in an isothermal expansion. Next we see isothermal compression. Consider this cylinder having n number of ideal gas having weightless and frictionless piston. This is the PV diagram. This is the initial volume of uh, gas inside the cylinder. When the work is done on the system, the temperature is increases inside the system. To maintain constant temperature, we keep a uh, cold reservoir. So the heat is released to the cold reservoir. We can maintain the isothermal condition. Now we compress the system, the volume is decreases from V1 to V2 and the pressure is increases. According to first law of thermodynamics, delta U is equal to Q plus W. So minus Q is equal to W since delta U is equal to 0. The heat is released to the cold reservoir that is mentioned as minus Q. The work is done on the system. It is positive sign. dW is equal to minus PdV. Integrating this equation, we get NRT ln V2 by V1. Here, uh, the delta V is negative value that is final volume minus initial volume final volume is the lower volume minus higher volume is negative value so negative value into negative is equal to positive so w is positive in isothermal compression so this is the work done in an isothermal compression w is equal to nrt ln v2 by v1 this is work done in an isothermal expansion. In the next video, we discuss the CSI problem based on this 
isothermal expansion and isothermal compression. Thank you.